bicycle helmet, a stereo vision camera, a vest and a computer program. The basic elements of what could become a breakthrough for the blind. So these, look, are, these are almost like a set of eyes here, right? The prototype navigation system is the creation of scientists at the University of Southern California, led by James Wheeland. What we're hoping to build here is a computer vision system that not only can uh, detect what's around them, but also give them guiding cues and direct them to a place of interest, such as a grocery store or a coffee shop, to sort of expand their environment in which they're comfortable navigating. It's a simple and relatively inexpensive system. The stereo vision camera, like human eyes, can perceive depth and sends what it sees to a computer where a program called Simultaneous Localization and Mapping, or SLAM, turns it into a three-dimensional map of the environment. Then the next step is using that map to create a safe path by which the person can walk through without encountering, encountering any obstacles. Uh, now how do we guide the person through that safe path? And that's where the vest comes in. Attached to each shoulder of the vest is a simple vibration motor, like those found in cell phones. If the program sees that the wearer is veering off the map, it will make either one of the motors vibrate, telling the wearer to change course to avoid obstacles. A pilot experiment conducted with experienced blind cane users from the Braille Institute in Los Angeles demonstrated fewer collisions with obstacles by the test subjects when they were using the vest. Now we don't necessarily think we're going to be able to take away the cane. In fact, uh, we don't know that we want to because that's a safety mechanism and a, a last line of defense, if you will, against them encountering something. What we think we can do is guide them more naturally through an environment using both the computer vision system in conjunction with their cane. The next step for Wheeland and his team is to commercialize the technology and miniaturize it until it's barely more conspicuous than a pair of sunglasses. Rob Muir, Reuters.